from the Oak Wall Studios in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello, this is Jesse Oakley III and welcome to the Oak Zone, where we provide positive words of wisdom for you, that's right, you, the happy people. Now, there is one word that I'm not a big fan of, and this word has been used many decades by people similar to my skin complexion, as well as other people that are quite ignorant. This one word happens to start with the letter N, and anytime I hear this, I get shudder and I just shake my head and ask myself, do they know the definite meaning of this word? If they don't, I don't know what else to say regarding that department, but through their own ignorance, I could just shake my head. This one N word originally, I'm from the South, I'm from Virginia. And whenever I hear this N word, I equate it to lots of negativity. As a matter of fact, I remember a time in the dictionary that this one N word has been described as ignorant, an ignorant person. And yet when I see people use this N word, I just ask myself, why are you using this? What's the point? But they probably look at me and say that I'm crazy, that I'm out of touch. And for that, I could be very sad. And for people of my own skin complexion to use that very casually, I often wonder the meaning of it, the whole true meaning behind using that word. You don't see people with lighter skin complexions or you don't see people with even more brownish skin complexion use a similar type of word to each other just to use it as an identity or just say something that's very similar or some people actually like to call that a slur. You don't see them saying slurs with each other. But with people of my complexion, they have no problem saying it to each other. And I don't know where else to go with it. This one in the word has caused lots of damage. It caused some shock. It caused some heartbreak throughout all the times. And I could tell you that when it comes to me, I don't even like to use this word. And it's not in my vocabulary. Why? Because I don't see myself as an ignorant person. I see myself wanting to be better, wanting to do better, and just wanting to carry myself as best as I possibly can. Not because of a certain skin complexion on the outside, but for what I have on the inside with my heart, my mind, and my soul. If more people could actually see themselves and hope to elevate and level up and step up, to a better version of themselves in heart, in mind, and in soul, they probably will not use the N-word as much as they like to call each other. And what's the N-word I'm talking about? Would you like to know what it is? Well, for the first time on this video, I will say what the N-word is. And that N-word is nincompoop. Surprised? You thought I was going to say nincompoop? Yes, no matter what an ignorant N-word that you use, whether it be a slur, do not describe yourself in that negative connotation. Because I got to remember, for the happy people that do watch this video, you will describe yourself in a better light, in a better format. You will not only describe yourself, but you also do what it was possible for a better light and a better format. So if someone were to call you some ignorant name or ignorant slur to you, it's hard, may be hard to do, but just keep going and keep doing what you have to do. Because they may say one thing about you, but you know who you are inside and internally. And if you know who you are inside and internally, you do not have to resort to having to use that N word. This is Jessica Good Third speaking. But before I go, if you want more positive positivity, go to YouTube, type my name, Jesse Good Third, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, like, share, and comment on these videos. Until next time, you take care and have yourself a fantastic day. Bye.